this week we're going to be at an European style holiday market and it's actually an outdoor market. But here's the cool part. The booth fee, actually, we did not just pay for the spay, we also paid for this chalet. It's like a mini wood house. We got an extra large size, which is like six foot deep and eight foot wide, I believe. And this year, they actually add like this wall heater, and we have this whole lighting string up here. I'm so beyond excited for this experience, you guys. Welcome to the Winter Wonderland. I walk past it. This is the one. This is ours. Pretty much have this main area, but we also need to share that with cups and make all the cups in the middle of and flushy all around. I believe that would be the best way to go. I probably also need to move like this station right here a little bit to the left. completely done setting up you can see it playing behind me let's take a little tour we have all our tote bags here big cow some extra beanies blind day with the books right here have these string of ornaments that go from the bottom right down there i'm storing all the extra sweatshirts then we have a couple's big plushy one small show then we have some other plushy sweatshirts. And in this little corner over here, I have all the extra bins where I carry the boxes and cups. And then we have the little heater on and running. And we have a little bar top area where I put our like beanies so that people can actually see and touch them. And then all the small prize item. And bad shot, but you guys can see the views outside. That 
is the end of the first days. The first day is only four hours long and it was a Thursday so probably that's one of the reasons why the foot traffic was not crazy. However, for the first day we made five sales but there was a lot of people stopping by and taking a look at our booth. Here I'm just moving everything from the bar top all the way inside so that we can close up our shop, leave everything in the chalet and I actually have my own lock so that I can lock it and leave it here overnight. This door is heavy. It was so heavy for me to pull it out and push it closed. I booked four days with this market, but unfortunately, I was not able to show up on the second days. It was just on a Friday night, it, I just start showing symptoms of having a cold and I have to do a hard decision calculating like, okay, I still have two more days with this market, which is Saturday and Sunday. And those are usually the better day of sales and foot traffic anyways. I made a hard decision and decided to take an L, not going on Friday to preserve myself, get stronger and ready for the next two days. And when I communicated this with the event coordinator, she's informed me that by not showing up this Fridays, I'm accepting to lose my deposit, which is like $100. This was in the contract. Now that I have experienced the situations, honestly, from a vendor standpoint, I have paid a great amount of money for the whole weekend, which is four days. By not showing up for one day on a Friday evening, four hour show, I already accept lose my market fee for that day. I don't understand why should I lose my deposit too. But it was in the contract, so there's nothing I can do about it. But I do feel a little unfair. What did you think? Have you ever been in this situation before? Oh my god, I love that. Hello, how are you? I'm great. How are you? Good. Good morning. Day. Good morning. Day three for the events, day two for us. Separate. A starter crochet kit. Uh huh. And then a shirt. It's a for you. But do you like a receipt for it? Okay. It's a freebie pack for you. Oh my gosh! Thank so you. in there they have. Uh, I have my business card, so it should have the. Oh, for perfect. you to scan for my ID. What is it? Can I do one of the, um, the little gingerbread men? Yeah, the little one? Yeah, the little guy. Okay, what you got? What you like? Um, yeah. I think this one. That one? Okay. I hope mommy loves a <laughs> non-colored sheet. <laughs> <laughs> Total for you. Be this big. See, that's better. Don't you think? Yeah. You can yeah. still probably fit something underneath, like a t-shirt. Oh yeah, that's yeah. better. Okay. Can I use the card or not? Absolutely. It would look lovely in it. Yes. Well, you should like a receipt for my baby. Yeah. So. Well, he's right in the center. He's a star. <laughs> it is right in the center. You do know that, right? <laughs> do you guys do the well? Which one you want? Which one you want? The blue one for you? What about you? Can I get a color like this? Like this this is, I have what I have. Two colors. Yeah, this is the two colors I have. So both of you want to get a blue one? Thank you so much. Thank you. And then, we're here till we get in the car so they don't get dirty. I have a pretty pack. There's some stickers in there. Oh, yeah, they love them. Thank you. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. And your octopus. So far today, we've been doing really well. We sold out all of our Grinch latte sweater sweatshirts. We sold out those, and then we saw a lot of like baby um, whale, especially in the pink color. I always thought that like the blue would do a lot better, but everybody was going for this hot pink. 
and this is the blue color I thought it's gonna be very popular but no this one today I brought these triceratop and they've been doing pretty well too I'm actually working on some of them right now saw a lot of double palms beanies then oh yes the gingerbread man the smaller size I'm all out I don't have any more and I brought like five of them Yes, and they're all out. I don't have no more of the small to red man. And that is actually my pattern. So if you want to check it out on my YouTube channel, you can watch that video too. Another plushie that's doing really well today is the Axolotl. It's the Axolotl. I brought five. Now we have one left. And it's all from today. Everybody really like them. I think the smaller size, people like that look better than the bigger size. For the last couple hours of the show, it started raining. It was started out like just drizzle, drizzle, not crazy large raining. That's why you see me diapering all this area right here just to make sure the water don't drip onto my products. And then the later the night goes, it's get really cold, so I put on my udi to keep myself warm. Oh my gosh, I love this thing so much. What really amazed me is despite the rain and the cold, there were still people out shopping. You guys, isn't that insane? For the last couple hours, despite the rain, despite the cold, there were still people showing up and support our business. For the second day of this market, we did really well. So what I honestly can't even keep count of actually how many sales we did got through on this very day. The foot traffic was really good, and this is a Saturday. Sunday is going to be the last day of the event that we'll be vending with this market. Am I honestly really exciting because according to this weather, tomorrow is going to be really nice, a lot warmer, and pretty much not rain during the day at all. Literally cannot wait. I'm running so late today, and as soon as I got here, we have so many customers, and I literally just checked out uh, two, no, three big set of orders. Wow, what a crazy Sunday morning! Hello, how are you? Hi, how are you? Good. These are adorable. Thank you. <laughs> you guys want to see anything from inside? Just let me know. I can bring them out. Oh, it's awesome. Hello, you guys. Thank you. I crochet. You use like a ball of yarn. Yeah. And crochet hook. And I make it to these things. Thank you. 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 Yes, it's a baby whale. That's a bigger whale. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. From this level. You make them all yourself? Yes. This is a one person shop. <laughs> What's that? I mean, this is a one person factory. Yeah? <laughs> one person, huh? Yes. Hi. I think I'm going to get two of these. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Sounds good. Two of these. Two of these. Here's your bee. Thank you. you. Yeah. <laughs> Adoption <laughs> box. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> you wouldn't have to have two little single boxes, would you? I do. Would you like? Oh, okay, would you so, mind? No, absolutely not. Okay, so for the B, it can fit in here. Oh, you would like this one is super clear. I have a like, oh, no, like like small one. Which one would you like better? This one will have a little more space on top. And this okay, one will be super close. This yeah. one? Okay. If you don't mind. Absolutely not. Because it's for two different people. So. Okay. Thank you so much for your patience. Oh. Have a good holiday. Thank you. Do you make a picture something? Yeah. One person factory. <laughs> I see my friend knit just like scarves. I can't imagine how much this I mean, this is, to be fair, this is my full-time job, so I have a lot of time to enhance my crafts, you know? <laughs> it's a lot of Netflix. Just go through season and yeah. season. <laughs> if you would like to see anything from in here, just let me know. I'll bring them out closer to you. I can't see any anyways. My glasses are fogging up. My eyes are running. Oh, no. Maybe. All right, I'll take the little... Little reindeer. The little reindeer? Yeah. Okay. I got a bag. <laughs> Did you get cows? Ah, uh, yes, right there. This is the 
only cow I have left. I already sold out all the small ones. Uh, are you are you local? Yeah. Okay, I can send one to you that day. So then, yeah, and then that's the that post office to get to you. Christmas. Oh, absolutely, they'll get to you before yeah. Christmas. <laughs> Worst case scenarios, I deliver it myself to you. Yeah, we're five houses from here. Okay, I got you. Thank you. Updating, updating all the strawberry turtle and the original turtle pretty much sold out. I only have one OG turtle left. I have like four baby lock, baby froggy left. Um, we sold the little baby reindeer. Oh, we also sold out the blue penguin. We were like low on stock on the purple yesterday, but sold out the blue. Hi, how are you? Adoption box. It's so cute. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying. I'm trying. Okay. <laughs> oh, it even comes with a little hippie poppy box. Oh, it's so cute. Thank you. Thank you. Bubble so they don't get dirty unless like I don't think she'll let it touch the ground. I think she'll be here. This is a bubble. Oh yeah, you let's go into yeah. okay. <laughs> it's so Three hours into the last day of the market, and here is what we have left. I am so happy that so many of our plushies have found a new forever home. Four more hours to go! I saw your packaging someone had. Oh, yeah? At my booth. 
I love it. Oh, uh, thank you. It was so pretty. Thank you. Great. <laughs> thank you so much. Here's the biggest one that fit in here. <laughs> we taped it. Okay, thank you so much. Thank you. Have a good one. Because she look a little. <laughs> I want that one. So I want to touch it right now. <laughs> Thank you very much. Do you have like an online shop or? Uh, uh, yes, absolutely. That's what I'm trying to grab. My business card and uh, sticker sheet. So you guys can stick it. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. It. Happy holiday. Happy holiday. Thank you. How long does it take you to make these? This whole space right now? Yeah. Probably a couple months. Really? Yes. Yeah, it's a lot of. It's a lot but of I stitches. How long does it take you to make like one of these? Okay, so this one takes me about like 25 minutes. Okay. On a good day, about yeah. like 30 minutes. Okay. <laughs> how long have you been doing this for? Since 2020, so like mm -hmm. three years. Yeah, three years now. They look really nice. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. Well, I mean, I make a lot of them, so it's yeah. come with practice, you know, it helps yeah. me do better too. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> okay, so I need a little frog and a yellow duck. Oh, you oh the green and the marla duck. Okay. The frog and the duck. Lovely. Thank you so much. Thank you. Happy holiday. Okay. Do you take cards? Yes, I do. These two. Thank you so much. Thank you. Have a holiday. You too. Don't forget your mimosa. It's important. <laughs> <laughs> Have a good one. I guess when I'll put them in here. I get another one for your dinosaur. Okay. <laughs> I can't believe despite how good today was the last two hours of the show we drenched in water and my chalet actually got like flooded because the water started running here as you can see and I'm so scared it gets so much closer to my product so I have to pack it up so freaking quick but here's a quick look of everything we have left at this point it was just pouring and no customer actually walking around anymore so I just sit back, watch Blue More Girls, and crochet some more plushies. Right after I take this video, the event coordinator actually stopped by and let us know that we can actually pack up and go home. Here is my thought on this event. First and foremost, this is absolutely hands out the coolest market I've ever done in my entire career. But with what happened on the day when I couldn't show up, I actually a little hesitate to ever come back and work with this venue. Lesson learned for me that I need to read our contract next time very very careful and take everything in consideration. However, if I ever do this event again to make it worth it for me, honestly I would not do 4 days again. I would just gonna do Saturday and Sunday because those two are the best days of food traffic. Though those two days got the highest rate for booth fee, the amount of sales that I was able to make actually make it worth it. I really hope by sharing this experience, you guys will learn and get a lot more insight for your next market. Thank you so much for hanging out with me at this market. I will see you in the next one. Bye!